In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him into space. Okay, Gypsy, it's your turn. Roll them. The moon! Box scores! Okay, looks like... Oh, still... Oh, got a six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, with each pump, my mind expands at an alarming rate, and I don't mind telling you, it's a harsh, jarring, comfortless experience. Oh, come on, quit your belly. Hi, everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson, and the bots and I have decided to turn old Tom Servo in that Milton Bradley game, kaboom. Okay, come on. Oh, got an eight. Oh. Oh, that stings! And that's another thing. Why kaboom, guys? I feel more suited to go to the head of the class, or stadium checkers, or even kerplunk. <laughs> Anything would be better than this. If Gee. it would make you feel any better, we could play hands down with you. Why, that's it! Oh, great day! Hands down, that's the slap-happiest game ever! How would we play? I thought we'd just get in a circle and hit you and snag on you and crush you. Guys, you. I <laughs> could, uh, serve, I gotta go survey the electronics on the ship. Could we just forget about the game and pump up Servo's head until it pops? No. Yeah, no. that's it. No, no, pop no, him, no. pop please, him, please, pop, please, pop, please, pop. Please, pop. No. pop no. him, pop no. him, pop, no. pop, pop, no. pop. No. pop no. him, pop, pop, pop. him, pop him, pop him, pop, pop, pop. My lord, this is incredible. My head is so huge, I've accumulated all the knowledge of all humanity throughout the ages. Yet all I can think about is why. Why did they cancel Manimal? Why? Oh, uh, Peter Lynn Hayes and Mary Healy are calling you guys. Oh, hello, Booby. Say, do you want to make people's heads explode? Sure, we all do. Well, my invention exchange this week is a study guide I put together called the Scanner Planner. It's filled with lots of life's little instructions on how you can scan people's brains and make their heads explode. Now, the first thing you'll need for your scanning is a good subject, someone who's your moral and intellectual inferior. I wonder who that could be. Hi, Dr. Forrester, what you doing? Hey, you were scanning me, weren't you? You tried to make my head explode, you freaked out maniac! Oh, oh. This could take a while, Joel. Back up to you. Sirs, when are you gonna realize that when you kill each other, you're only hurting yourselves? <laughs> anyway, our invention exchange is based on one of the century's safest, softest, and funnest concepts. The Wiffle Ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. And we've taken the whole Wiffle concept and siphoned it through our own madcap, irreverent viewpoint. <laughs> For instance, there's the Wiffle Hat. <laughs> it's lighter, cooler, and more comfortable than any ordinary hat. <laughs> and there's the <sighs> Wiffle Glass. Oh, yeah. Makes any soft drink Wifflicious. <laughs> well, we haven't <laughs> quite worked out all the kinks yet, uh, but I've come up with something even cooler. Oh. Wiffle Cheese. Hey, wait a minute, this is just Swiss cheese. That's right, it's nature's own whiffle. 
That's right, and think of the possibilities, they're endless. Wiffle Cat, mm -hmm. Wiffle Dog, Wiffle Roach Motel. Wiffle Sports Jacket, Wiffle Replacement Hip, Wiffle Underpants. Wiffle Shoehorn, Wiffle Apartment Building, Wiffle Claude Aiken. Wiffle! What do you think, sirs? What? Oh, Joel, uh, your movie this week is your first Western. It's called Gunslinger, and it stars Beverly Garland in her pre doty period. Beverly Garland? <laughs> it was also directed by Roger Corman, so your hits may explode before Frank's does. yippee ki -yay, Mama Jama. <laughs> He made my head explode. Thank you, Dr. Forrester. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, ooh, that feels good. <laughs> it's morning in America. Mm, let's see, doctor, no, no. Barber, no, that's no good. Mm, what did... Oh, law enforcement, that's what I need. Uh, cue the horses. <laughs> Corman. Oh, oh, she is slick. How'd she slip by us? Hi. Hi. You didn't hear her? Some sheriff. Sure. All night. Quiet one for a change. Any trouble with Patty, Marshal? Oh, you shouldn't get up so early just to fetch my breakfast. What else is the Marshal's wife good for? Warm-fitting western dress. Nice bustier. So what have you been doing all night? Uh, cleaning my gun, yeah. Need signal. You still think he shot Uriah Baker? I'm sure of it. <laughs> They're not that good at sneaking up. Well, sneaking up had just been invented. I went over to Erica Page's yesterday. The time I got there, he was gone. I don't know, maybe she warned him I was coming. Anyway, I tracked him out as far as Nine Mile Canyon, and I... Copper tubing! Him. Probably holed up in there somewhere now. You figure out what you're gonna do about Erica's tramp, the red dog? Oh, who in the world could stand up to that woman? Try me. You like me. Uh, you stick to making coffee, Rose. I'll take care of the criminal element. Uh, guess I won't. Uh... More, 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 more. Well, see you, Dave. Gotta go get a haircut. <laughs> oh, you see, this is before barber poles moved. They just sat outside and cranked them. What a day. Well, better check the scones. Oh, how am I going to explain this to... Oh, that's right. Good morning. What you dream about last night? Well, at least check his pulse. Yeah. Oh, poop. <clears throat> the man with the golden arm. Walking there. So, Corman did Swamp Diamonds on Monday and this one on Wednesday. Yep. Origami in your lifetime. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Help me. It's like Bella Abzug. My set is melting, melting! Oh, spy versus spy, perhaps. Uh, Zorro, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Oh, you got me. Uh, I got a choreographer, that's a good sign. The old Fred West. Ah, uh, kids, don't change a light bulb without supervision. Oh, it's like High Plains Drifter, what with the red buildings and no, such. No, it's the funny company, as you can plainly see. Uh... Hey, guard! What's the news from the East? Well, the railroad's still in Winkle. The Hakawis are mad. They want their money. We haven't had new tracks in two weeks yet. We're all waiting for that big letter. Yeah, and I'm waiting to carry it. Small talk of the Old West. The Pony Express, when it absolutely positively has to be there in three or four months or so. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll deliver your plans for the Telegraph. You bet. I think he moved. Kidding. Good folks of Oracle. Yeah, 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 so it's over here. Yes, it's gathered here to plant the last remains of Scott Hood. Brother of boys in thee. Gallant Marshal of our fair Goodness, he eulogizes well. Not since the Battle of Shiloh, we showed them Yankees what Confederate courage really meant. He's 
Got something there. Food for thought. Such bravery in one man. I'm sorry I'm late. Horse through a tire. Oh, what are you doing? Maybe you wanted to see the results of his handiwork. Ah, oh, jeez, Well, a good work of Marshal Hood has been terminated. Hmm? Near the hour of his trial. I'm sure you'll all be relieved to know that I, acting in my capacity as mayor, I sent to San Antonio for the celebrated Sam Bass. Big fish face guy. He's gonna be our new marshal. Well, so much for secular doings. Let's now, party! Uh, <laughs> after I get through saying the prayer, the uh, good widow Hood will toss the first spadeful of dirt onto that old pine box there. And then she'll be singing Sunrise Sunset. What kind of bend your neck? And yeah, no goofing around this time. Can't bend my neck. Oh, Lord, a man and beast. Oh, now what? We poor sinners here. Hey. Commit the lowly clay of your poor servant, Scott Hood. Oh, knock it off, Earl. To his last resting place. Here on Oracle's aspiring boot hill. Until that mighty blast of Gabriel's horn on the final day of judgment. I'm just winging it here, Lord. Scott Hood. What? I'm dead. Rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Hey, mine! All right, I'm not doing this one for free. Who was it, dear? One of the killers who went after Scott last night. I'll just put this back. Then I guess that's all of them, huh? Not quite. I still have to settle with whoever hired them. Hey, I may not be dead down be here. somebody unknown behind this killer? There has to be, Mayor. Those men would have no personal reason to do Scott in. Well, like I say, Sam Bass will be getting here in a couple of weeks, and he can take care of anything that has to be taken care of. He can be too late. Yeah. Yeah, I said I'm not dead. Joshua's deputy. Want me to make you a marshal? Well, it's so sudden. About me, Mayor Polk, that kind of job takes book learning. And some basic intelligence. Is there a man here who thinks he can handle the job? How about me? I'd like to be marshal. <laughs> oh, shut up, little man. You've got mending to do. JK's doesn't count. But Sam Bass is coming to town. Uh, would you want to go have coffee sometime? Pin it on. Pin it on in the morning now! On, <laughs> on me. Oh, come on, Rose. You must be pulling my leg. I think it's a wonderful idea. What the? Hey! The Marshall Oracle will be the hit of the Western dime novels. And what bad man would dream of shooting a woman? <laughs> I would. <laughs> pin it on. I can't do that. Oh, pin it on and get it over with. I've got a beef roast in the oven. You know, beef roast in the oven. All right. Well, uh, I'm not very good at this. Usually, I uh, can't even put a corsage on, but... Think out! <laughs> now to slip into something sheriffy and sexy. Well, back to the fellowship hall for bars and punch. Shouldn't they have their headlights on? It's been a sad day, Mrs. Hood. First chance I've had to offer my personal condolences. Thank you, Rod. You've taken on a man's responsibility, my dear. I have Joshua here to help me. The uh, friend. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. As a matter of fact, there is. Can I borrow that pink yes. taffeta dress? It's a little matter my husband kept putting off. I... Me. I hate to mention it now, but I I noticed you were open past three this morning. The Red Dog Saloon is open 24 hours. Breakfast anytime. Has been. There's uh, there's a curfew law, you know. I think you're taking that star a bit too seriously. Quite seriously. <laughs> you're priceless. Drop it at my place tonight for a free drink. And keep the glass. Make it after three. I'll be there. But I have my men's groove. I don't know. I reckon some people won't think it's proper for a new widow to go around in pants, even though they are black. Did you ever see a peace officer in a corset? Yeah, your husband. Hey, are you going to wear that cannon? I don't imagine a bank robber will change the rules just for me. Come on, Joshua. Let's start enforcing the law. Close up for a scrumpy. Oh, huh. kind of looks like a ground round. It does. Whee! And there's my hinder. You know, it's just possible that's Rachmaninoff on the piano. Hey, get off my ravioli. Good tonight. Uh. Oh, it's so hot in here. We're so sassy. Mm. <laughs> oh, we did not mean to do that, but we did it. Wee. Wee. Well, sir, 
There we was in the swamps below Fort Donaldson. We're in skirts yeah, like them. Well. Buckner said we had to surrender. Oh, you don't start. Surrender? Never. I went with Bedford Forrest. You never knew Bedford Even Forrest. Did and I. That's infantry riding piggyback with Forrest troopers. Next day, 10,000 surrendered. But me and Bedford went out to fight another day. Well, go fish. They kind of look like bodybuilders. I wonder where his Raiders logos. Okay, go wash up, girls. Excuse me, I've got to go fire them. Where's the headliner? She won't show her face. Doodly, 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 doodly. Her face! It is. Good evening, Rose. Good morning, Erica. Hmm? Did you come for that drink? I'll have the sex on the beach. I'm afraid I don't have time for one. It's just uh, after three, you know. Oh, now, Mrs. Hood. The Red Dog is open 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Breakfast anytime. Well, you, uh, you went to your house and put out the lights. Put them out yourself. Ooh. Whoa, it's like a lady roadhouse. Samuel Beckett back there. At the second show, dry mud wrestling. Ooh, Beverly's wearing jack boots. <laughs> I'm a grim old warrior. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. No, Joel, say what you will, but Roger Corman pushes my buttons. Mm -hmm. Well, that thing's not helping any. Come here. Want a fresh lime, Wormy? You know, he should have slid him across the bar. Yeah. Well, they hadn't it. invented that yet. All right. Hmm? Everybody who can walk up and out. This place is closed for the night. Hey, it's Jesse White and Bob Crane. I don't believe it. Oh. Hey, but this place is open 24 hours. Well, they're taking the elevator up, apparently. You sure made a sick chicken out of Erica Page. She's gonna be a sicker chicken when I find out what she has to do with Nate Signal. Hey, could I get a new bucket in here? Well, you better get some sleep, Miss Rose. Yeah, I guess I better. I'll, uh, I'll curl up in there and then I'll study in a couple of hours. Um, uh, you don't mind if I watch you sleep, do you? Yeah, stew's really good here. Now, yeah. look, you turn around or I'll book you for wrestling. I'm already serving consecutive life sentences, but okay. <laughs> oh, it's been a good day. Mm, you're a miracle worker, Wormy. Feel better? It'll take a good night's sleep. Yeah. They're gonna be sorry for this, ain't they? Yes, little man, they'll be sorry. You want me to do it? Do what? Kill him. Not you, Jake. You're too stupid. Well, I'm off the hook, You'd then. Be sure to get caught, and that would lead straight to me. Oh. Just as Nate Signo was leading Scott to attack. Oh, I wouldn't get caught. I'm smarter than you think. I'm real Jay! smart. Jay! You're hurting me. I didn't mean it, Erica. I didn't mean it. All right, I forgive you. Looks like they really use their Helen Gallagher catalog, I want catalog, you to do me huh? a favor. Sure, what kind of favor? Get a restraining order on yourself. I want you to ride a tombstone and pick me a new assistant. I'll pick you one. I'll pick the best. Maybe I can find Billy the Kid. I don't care who you get. Just as long as he knows his business. I want him here within the week. Well, what kind of salary are we offering? And benefits, benefits. I better write this down. This is going to be a lot of stuff. <laughs> it must be him. It must be him. Oh, no, not Wormy. Come on, please. Don't get on me, Wormy. I can't. Well... The riveting horse mounting scene. Hey, nobody told me about... Owie, ow. <laughs> Goldfinger. Tuesday, the rabbi got robbed. Well, I'm pretty sure he was a bad guy, yeah. He's a really fortunate lawman. He just walks right into crimes. Yeah, I'll just take your lunch. Boy, it's really blue out today. Walk along the city streets we used to walk. You know, shed a few pounds, he's Mr. Drysdale. Hmm. Yeah, LaCroix, please. Sorry, Mayor. Satin to close. I'm not here for a drink. What's the matter? Well, 
Frankly, Erica, I'm worried. Jethro wants to be a rock star. <laughs> right now, strange man. Come on, now, I'm serious. Where there's no one left alive. You realize how far you've extended your notes in town property? I'm familiar with my business affairs. I've been down at the land office checking through the deed file. I'm a research nut. Suddenly, I noticed the name Erica Page everywhere. Her face kind of comes to a point. All right, man. Please. I'll let you in on the big secret. I'm Lonesome George Coble. See? Let's have a drink. All right, T.J. Swan, Mellow Nights. And that's when I became known as Mr. Wiggly, you? Let me see if I got this straight. You're a man playing a woman you playing a man. You on a business, then liquidate the inventory and the other assets, and then use that money to buy the next place. You're brilliant. Oh, it's just not possible. Tell that to Dave Delgado. Have you noticed how that line of property lies? Don't you hate that? You said it looked like a geometric pattern. Well, picture it in your mind's eye. Oh, I get it. It's funny. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, baby, that's... It lies on the ground that the land commission has picked out as a suggested right away for the railroad and people. Exactly. You mean I'm right? Oh, but, Eric, this scheme of yours is a, the height of speculative gambling. If the railroad decides not to build through Oracle, you'll be wiped out. Fooey on Yui. Good chance. An extremely long one. Well, I gotta hit my shift at well, the Roy Rogers. I want those trains to come through, too. And I guess we'll get the decision in Saturday's Postal Express. Of course, you realize how the town will feel if... Some nights I lie awake two or three seconds worrying about... Oops, sorry. Good night, Mayor. Good night, Erica. And, uh, good luck. Yeah, thanks for the drinks and stuff. Sorry I was such a pig with the checks mix. Looks like he's been in the little man's room there. Ooh. Bimstone. Got the man you wanted. I got the best. What's his name? Kane Miro. So, this is what it's like to be dead. Well, roughly, this is what it's like to be in a casket. So, uh, why are we doing this? No, aren't you curious? About being dead? <laughs> We're robots, Joel. We're not the ones who have to worry about it. Uh, you understand my point? Oh, yeah, well, at least I have a soul, okay? Oh. Yeah, sure you do. Anyway, even though I'm not gonna die, I sure could see having a snappy funeral. No, not like the one in the movie, though. What a drag. Oh, at my funeral, I'd hope my friends would toss me up and down in a blanket like the Eskimos do, you know? Really go for some height? Ooh, uh, how about a beach funeral? You know, pony keg, bonfire, Ooh. couples <laughs> slipping off into the woods to neck. Prop me up so I can surf. <laughs> me, I'd go the dignity route. You know, variety of ethnic foods, uh, maybe a saxophone quartet. Ah, uh, dignity, schmignity. Joel, I want elephants, lots of them. Mm -hmm. And circus ladies as my pallbearers. <laughs> I want them enthusiastic and wearing those little frilly skirts, those little tutus. <laughs> uh, you know, Tom, cost could be a consideration. Oh, yeah. nonsense, Joel. I'll lie in state for several days at the Corn Palace hmm. while Hooked on a Feeling is sung by a choir of castrati. You know, there's always the educational route, a real hands-on kind of funeral, details of my embalming written up and distributed. <laughs> it fun. is fun to think about, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, when you humans die, um, that's it, right? Uh, you're dead forever? Yeah. Well, isn't that like throwing the baby out with the bathwater, Joel? Yeah, why don't you just not die, Joel? Well, everybody dies. Oh, and if everybody ran off a cliff, you'd do that, too. Well, uh, that's not the way it works. Besides, we got commercial signs. Well, it's just weird, that's all. Maybe it's us. Joel, is there any way I could be mummified and placed next to Stalin? Oh, sure, honey. Well, that's what I want. Mummified and placed next to Stalin. Dum, dum, ba dum. Bum, ba da da dum, 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 da 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 dum, da dum, da dum, dum, da 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 da. Yeah. Death sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even want to know what I stepped in. Sheepers, it's hard to get into this town. Stop it, mister. I've got you cold. Yep, she does. Say. What do you know? A lady with a star. You can trust your car to the lady with the star. You're not the man I'm after. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry, I took a shot at you. That's one on me. Kane Miro. Any relation Kane to Miro? John Miro? Well, that sounds familiar. I don't think we've met. If we had, I'd have remembered. Well, I'm the marshal here. 
I'm glad I missed you. I, I was aiming at a killer I mean to catch. There he goes now. I'd like to help you, ma'am. Well, he's supposed to be hiding out in Nine Mile Canyon. How long is that canyon? As a matter of fact, I did see some smoke coming up from the Deep Canyon brush. Can't imagine an honest man living down there. No, neither can I. Let's go. Go? Yeah, go. We have to get him, don't we? Oh, oh, go. I guess we do. I'll just get my horse. Well, since we're going. Hey, Kane, who's the girl? <laughs> hey, watch it. Your hands are cold. Hey, I love what you're driving. A pinto, right? Let's ride separately. I just feel more comfortable if we rode separately. I'm winning. No, no, I'm winning. Yeah, I'll let you, though. You wait here. I'll look around. Oh, now, where's he going? I'm as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Sir, you got a permit? I notice you don't have a ticket on your post. Hello? Sir? Oh, come on. Everyone knows that there are no hot plates allowed in Nine Mile Canyon. Oh, now where are you going? <laughs> Stay with me. Well, there's three bowls of porridge here. Don't quite know what that means. You know, I like it, honey. I think we should make an offer. Get around. Where? I'm in the outhouse. I'll be I'll right be back the out. Getting more water for these potatoes. Oh, so he's Irish, huh? Well, what do we do? Uh, we could start the salad. Wait in there. Cover me. I'll set the table. We'll hide behind this tree. Are you sure you're the best? All right, now, how do you want him? Lady's choice. Alive. <laughs> Why? How do you want him? Where do you come from, Mr. Miro? Lately, mostly from around Tombstone. For that, Medford, Wisconsin. Pretty rough place. That's what they tell me. Still trying to figure out where I've heard of you. It'll come. Hmm? Were you in the war? Bragg's army. Pastry That was ship. a long time ago. Not according to our good mayor. For him, the South's still winning. Gideon Polk. You know him? Captain Polk and I are old army friends. Look, let's just focus on our stakeout right my now. my main reason for coming to Oracle. Guess maybe now I've found a better one. Hey, it's Bigfoot with a bucket. <laughs> Hi, right, folks. Welcome to my lean-to. Nice day. Nice day. I'm arresting you for the murder of Uriah Baker. Drop your gun belt. I said your gun belt. I'd also like to have a little talk with you about your connection with Erica Page. I'm going to talk. I'm going to ride. Keep your mouth shut. I'll keep you covered, Marshal. How about you dousing the fire? You know, the way you do, I like that. I was just gonna get you a potato. That happened faster than it could have. Over the speed of light. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Come on. I'll help you get your worm bait back to town. Oh, stop! Grab Charlie Horse! Oh, oh. Yes, buns of steel of the old west. And naughty spank, and naughty spank, and you've been bad in the tushy. Now, naughty, 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 and naughty, naughty, naughty this way. Naughty, 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 and naughty, naughty, naughty that way. Hire girls. Say what you want, Reverend. This brings in the parishioners. Whee. Oh, look at them poor girls there. Did you know that Mrs. Marshall Hood's ordered them out of town? Hmm? He says they constitute an immoral influence on our young men. <laughs> Pretty much the idea, isn't it? Joel, you know it's so good, you almost forget it's erratic. Shuffle off the buffalo, shuffle off the buffalo, and stick the buck up. Yeah, I remember when we were part of the act, Jed. They said I didn't glide quite right. Mm -hmm. Here they gotta be out by Friday, Friday noon. Whatever. Somebody's always trying to push somebody else out. Like the Yankees trying to push us out of Georgia. Shut, Shut up! up! I mean, they accomplished that. Well, at first they didn't. You should have been with me at Excuse me, who's talking? We smashed Grant and Rose Plants into Googleberg. Googleberg? See, uh, you were in the artillery by then, weren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> you were a boot black. We round shot and canister as fast as we could load. 
Why well, handle them guns like they was red hot stove pipes? How well did you handle them at Lookout Mountain, Captain Polk? Hell, I don't recall. I, I don't recall. Mr. Mooney's of the Old West. Private Kane Miro. It is you. Hmm. You've got a good memory. But then that was something no one could forget, wasn't it, Captain? That he's got a good memory? Hmm. I thought you were dead. The good die first. Most people are morally ambiguous, which explains our random dying patterns. I understand you're a good citizen. Now that's a complex death Where'd you threat. come? Hmm. Well, good night, Mayor. Good night, Eric. We'll wind up our business tomorrow. Good luck. Let me call you a cab. Don't leave. Are you afraid, Captain? How can one man help you when 30,000 couldn't? He makes a good point. Hello, Kane. Hello, Erica. Hmm. Been a long time. Been a long, long, Been long, 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 lonely time. I wouldn't touch him. All that makeup. Come on with me, Gideon. You better retreat, Mayor. I'll see you another day. Good night, Kane. Good night, Erica. Boy, the Mayor's approval rating just plunged like 20 points. Whoa. What was that all about? You know, stuff. We used to be roommates. It's a long story. Well, leave him alone. I need him. So do I. Now, tell me why you sent for me. Your friend here said something about a killing. Who needs me? Who needs Wormy? We have to talk shop Old here. Western art of the Old West. Come on into my dressing room. No, I don't like him. <laughs> Oh, that's a line that Miss Kitty and Matthew never crossed. Jake was right. A killing. Now kiss me, Kane. By Cole Porter. Make it like old times. Oh, you mean like after the football game out by the dumpster? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a wood tick there. Let me get a match. Who do I kill the brave captain? Is he getting shorter? Jake, this man has no romance in his soul. Maybe you kill nobody. I didn't come up here just to make it like old times. Whoa! And I get paid in advance. Jake, get 3,000 out of the office safe. Take your time coming back. See, if looks could kill, you'd be so almost dead. It's better. No point in my having to trust you when I can worry about nicer things. What things, Kate? Raindrops and roses, whiskers and Such kittens. As, who do I kill and when? The local law. Oh, get a room. Oh, they did. Mm, chocolatey. Mm. Why wait till Saturday? Saturday, the mayor gets a letter from the Railroad Board of Directors, letting the town know if the new tracks come through here. Is that a euphemism? If they do, I clean up. Well, I think that's a euphemism. Maybe we won't have to kill Mrs. Hood. If they don't, I'll have to grab all the money I can and clear out fast. Hmm. They'll be killing. Uh, this is more than I want to know. I want the marshal to be the first to die. Oh, yeah. Give me more exposition. Like. Thanks for the bonus. So much for business. Now let's get down to pleasure. Some bonus. Well, got down to pleasure. Quite pleasurable. Remember me? Uh, you were on Carter Country, weren't you? Kane Miro. One of the three states and five territories. For murder, bank robbery, stage robbery, train robbery, and, uh, sundry dollars. Neat. Take a look at your ledger, see if I'm wanted in this state. I haven't checked lately. My computer's down. You ought to keep these clean. No, you're not wanted here. If you were, I'd find a place for you with the other characters I've met this week. Hey, wipe your nose. Next to my husband on Blue Hill. So, you're single. Everyone sleeps together like kinfolk. Not my kinfolk. The difference between them. Well, the bandits usually get there first. Everyone gets there sooner or later. Hmm. I'm not worried. Anyway, the good die first, you know. Then we get there in the next five minutes. What's your business in Oracle? Uh, Herbalife. It's honest. It's also private. Well, that's no answer. I intend to keep it that way. Not exactly a Howard Hawks thing, I was going to take you to finish it up. Ooh, about five weeks. Make it five days? What, are they negotiating when he's going to kill down. her? I might be able to finish in five days. Mm. But that also gives me five nights. What do you do nights, Miss Oh, right like a crazed weasel, oh, you. Oh, I, uh, I keep an eye on suspicious characters. I'm a suspicious character. <laughs> I think I'll assign Joshua to you. He takes care of drunks, mad dogs, and smart saddle traps. An Englishman. But I'm a celebrity. You ought to give me your personal attention. I was up for a Cable Ace Award. I just hope I don't have to, Mr. Miro. Well, I'm going to shut down the sexual bantering for the night. Oh, boy. Oh, Beverly. 
Hmm. Is this a video diary? It's like a Kubrick film. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a Tuesday. Mm. Oh, back to Monday, Five, May 31st. 90, 95, 15,000. Well, <clears throat> all there. Enjoy your time, Cher. I'll you the first monthly payment after you get to Santa Fe. No, back then, money was a lot of money. Oh, now that the deal is closed, yeah. how am I telling you that I got the best of the bargain? A wagon freight line won't do you much good when the railroad comes. And if it doesn't, this town will have the business of a steamboat in Death Valley. <laughs> I'm funny. Have you ever met a woman with a head for business? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Well, neither have I, Mr. Taft. Hmm? Have a nice trip. I'll be riding the high road. William Howard Taft, ladies and gentlemen. I see him to tell if he's taking the high road, huh? That's uh, a figure of speech, Wormy. I wish I could send Kane on this. He won't take any of these puny jobs. Besides, why well, pay for something I'll do for free? Wormy, that's an O-seater. If you ever get come after me. That's why I try to keep you from sin, little man. Did you marry the ketchup bottles? Ooh. King Nero is mighty handy with the women, isn't he? Mighty. You don't love him. You still love me, don't you, Erica? I still love you, Jake. Now, you better hurry if you want to catch Tab on the high road. I need that 15000 to buy the Canby Judd place. I'll hurry. I'll fly. She thinks I'm cute! Oh, man. Oh, that American hotel puts on a great buffet on Rudy's. <laughs> Back in, Herman. You're becoming a real habit. Yeah, don't fool with me. I'm a wizard. I that outlander, Kane Mirror. I don't like him. He's bound to be trouble. He pushed me down. Yeah, yeah, I gotta pick up a thing of wax worms. I don't think it'll give us any trouble, Josh. Josh. What Fremont said about Stonewall Jackson. Walked right I into that. Right. I know I'm right. Maybe I'd better find out what his business is. Right now. Well, you'll be careful, Miss Rose. He won't even know I'm following him. Hey, she's following me. Oh, shoot. It's gonna be a bad day. We're even out of TP. A yeah, strange feller. Well, one more trip to the buffet. Ooh, cute outdoor cafe. You know, she needs operatives, all right. What the? How'd he get there? Wait a minute. I order from you, ma'am. Uh, ma oh. oh, that's two guys in a horse costume. <laughs> Doesn't Marshall have two L's in it? Well, it's either. No. Well, it should have two L's. It looks better. It's either. Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore, riding through the night. Dum 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 dum. Hey, cameraman, crank a little faster. <laughs> she does like me. <laughs> Oh, boy, I hope there's no black ice on that road. Well, I think I'll stop by the tennis court on the way home. Marble the Mustang, she's almost for real. You. Ooh, he likes to get way out of town to pee. Well, what do you, there's Jack Nicholson's place. Hey, you forgot your snack pack. You knew I was following you all the time. So did everyone else in the now county. you caught me, what do you want? You're it. <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Why don't you get out and take a load off your horse? Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? How's your business coming along? Ah, oh, uh, recession hit me like everyone else. What were you seeing, Canby Jet about? Something that's still thriving. <laughs> You don't have many answers to my questions, do you? You don't ask the right question. Oh, boy, they're bantering again. Excuse me. When, uh, when you were in Tombstone, did you, uh... Eat much pizza? Did you ever run across Sam Bass? Sure, Sam and me are old friends. We used to work together. Well, he's a lawman now. As a matter of fact, he'll be here Saturday to take over my job. Hmm. Morning, noon, or night? What difference does that make? Hey, this is moving too fast for me. I guess. Hi. So old Sam's crossed over, huh? Wearing dresses and stuff. Well, he'll come back. We all do. 
I spent a couple of months playing sheriff myself. How'd you make out? Plenty of action, but the pay was lousy. And why is it all the worst gunslingers take up law work? Look at Wyatt Earp, Bat Masterson, King Fisher. Yep, good show. Each one of them is a cold-blooded killer. You answer that yourself. Hmm. Me, crime is just a way to get rich. Huh. Those other fellows like to kill, and there's more chance when it's legal. Like uh, a license for murder. <laughs> that is so true. Why don't you apply for one? Uh, I don't have very good references. Look, I'll make you a deal. I won't try to make you a bad woman. You stop trying to make me a good man. It's a country song, isn't it? You're not bad. You're just drawn that way. You're just no good. Oh. Is that bad? If I'm no good, I might as well take advantage uh, of it. Sorry, my wooden hip. Oh. No thanks. I don't think I'll so, brother. Uh, maybe just a little. Mm -hmm. Does this mean that they... Mm -hmm. Because they were gonna... And then they... Oh, oh, my back. Oh, oh, my back. Oh. Hi, Wormy. Can I leave you back at the Red Dog? Erica sent me after you. She says she shortchanged you. Shortchanged? By how much? Just this. Oh, thank. Ooh. Come on, honey, you're not the sheriff of the whole world. Instead of doing my job, I'm out here to scrape these cops' memory, and it's all your fault. Nothing we both did. Yeah. Oh, my fault. Tracy and Hepburn ran the range. Wow, this is great. You kind of got a Pony Express kind of Gypsy Express thing. Whoa, stand back, civilian. You may be interfering with this daring horseback rider of the Pony Express, carrying mail oh. from the saddle out of love to the... Whoa, girl, saddle light of love. <laughs> Make whoa, haste, girl. man. Be gone. Off with you. Oh, oh Concord. Oh, 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 there goes a brave fella and his brave horse. Oh, by the way, Joel, I'm sending you a very important message. Oh, okay. I just hope to God it gets to you in time. Uh, Servo, I'm standing right here. What is the point? The point is, Joel, just play along. Whoa, Gypsy! Watch out for that! Ow. So, uh, what did you write to me in that letter? Oh, that I wanted a peanut butter and Dijon sandwich and a Snapple for lunch. Oh, here it is. Crow, you're a lot heavier than you appear to be. Ah, you, uh, Joel Robinstone? Uh, that's Joel Robinson, yes, and this is for me, I imagine. Okay, let's see here. Uh, dear Joel... Oh, yeah, dear girl. Dear Joel, how are you? I am fine. I want a something, something, and a Snapple for lunch. That's, that's Yours very truly, Servo. Sandwich. Okay, I'm going to have to respond to this. Uh, sandwich, Joel. It's uh, very simple. Yeah, could you turn around? Let me just write this down. Okay, okay uh, dear Servo, uh, I am in receipt of your correspondence regarding lunch, and I regret to inform you that I cannot read the two words you wrote between I want a and a Snapple. Please respond at your convenience or before lunch. Regards. Joel. It's peanut butter and Dijonese sandwich. It's not that difficult. Oh, for crying. This is going to take forever. I'm so hungry. Oh. <sighs> well, you know, those kids don't even know that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. <laughs> what could be taking them so long? Oh. Look at that. Oh, I'm a hanger. Sandwich. Oh, uh, sir, you can't park here. Dublin cab. Third businessman to leave Oracle this week. Huh. Hey, how did I end up back here? Oh, poopy. Doo -doo. Oh, no, we're back to June 1st. Pa, pa, Hop Sing's in trouble in town. Ah, Jack Ruby on piano. Hold it. That was lousy. You've got to get more leg into it. Mm. Why bother? We've got to be out of town by tomorrow night. Forget it. Go take a bath. You two, work up a quartet. All right, I'll go change into my leotard. Got to talk to you. Did you get the money? Yeah, yeah, every penny. Hand it over. Mm. What's the matter? I killed a guy and I wet him. Something went wrong. No, no, I... I didn't have time to get rid of the body. Where is it? 
Me and Mira and the Lady Marshal have it. They're bringing it into town. Cane and Rose? That's right. It's so crazy, it just might work. This fall on NBC, Cana Rose. Oh, neat. Dark Spectre in basic black. Rose, I'd like to talk to you. That's about your yard, the junk cars, the garbage. Uh, oh. Yeah, just about to give myself a sponge bath. But doors don't open like that. There's a number. He's in the hall. <laughs> Crazy coming up here. In my hallway. Well, I'll just talk to you about it later. Oh, and to kill Gideon. I know that, honey. Where is your husband? Erica Page hit him out in the woods. He might get ticks or something. Erica's a busy girl. What with her volunteer work and everything. Mm. Just what is it that Kane has got to get the mayor? I don't know. The one story he's never told me. Now I wish he had. Well, one thing's sure, he's got to be back in town by Saturday to read that letter. Yeah, he's afraid of that, too. Afraid the town will dry up and blow out from under him. Like me. Erica Page is no welfare worker. Why's she taking such an interest? Hey, they she's the first woman with her own eyebrows. Land scheme. Legal, of course. Gideon does everything legal. Have they been involved with Canby Judd? I believe so. I know Mr. Judd is thinking of leaving Oracle. Hmm. Where is Erica hitting your husband? He's at the old Wilson place in Greasewood Canyon. Yeah. yeah. Could you go out and see him? Go well, first thing in the morning. Oh, I'd appreciate that. The sooner he knows you're looking after him, the better. Hey, a chocolate gorilla foot. Huh, what do you know? I'd go tonight, but there's, uh, there's something I've got to attend to first. Oh, thanks very much, Rose. I, I can't tell you how much this means to me. And to think we laughed at the notion of you wearing Scott Star. <laughs> uh, hey, a Good simple night, handshake will do. I think she touched my handles. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the love shack. Mm, mm, oh, what time is it? Um, mm. You're getting careless. Yeah, sorry, I've been on the trail a long time. Not as careless as your little half-wit killer, Jake. I recognize your subtle touch. You don't miss much, do you? Want to watch yourself, though. Rose says there's been other similar incidents around here. I hate it when there's similar incidents. What was that for? So you admit being with her this afternoon? Sure, why not? Ooh, it's fun. I've made up my mind. I'm going to be an upholsterer. I want her dead tomorrow. I told you, no changes. No, get out of my hall. Maybe I won't need you at all. Hmm. Well, wait a minute, she's in my room now. Where do I go? Waiting an ambush? No, I'm wearing ambush. I don't think I have to do that. Are the girls ready to leave? You said Friday. This is only Tuesday night. Just a reminder. Mm. Well, thank you. Now that I've been reminded, may I go on to the red door? Huh. You may go to the red devil as far as I'm concerned. With red buttons to watch red dwarf. Mm. Oh, and this town ain't big enough for the... Oh, you know the rest. Well, I feel good after damning someone to hell. I'm gonna rustle me up some Hormel chili. Say, Deputy, <laughs> you should have seen what I said to that Erica girl. Come in. Or out. Why is all your stuff in Are the hallway? Alone? Almost never, it looks like. Not in this hallway here. Come on in. People think you're collecting for the poor. Away, I guess I am. Uh, it's a walkathon. Do you want to sponsor me? Sit down. Picture of yourself? Yeah, an old one. The uh, reason I have my pants off is... Um... rebel officer, isn't it? Captain Gideon Polk. Oh, the Bible guy? His wife says you want to kill him. Oh, no. Kiss him. I've been looking for him since 1865 to A hundred years? Because he lost us the war. Oh, Kane, don't be ridiculous. As far as I'm concerned, he did. And he killed my four brothers. And my four fathers. What? Oh, he didn't murder them outright. He just fed them to the Yankees. With a choice of salad, soup, or juice. What happened? Like the man says, it's a long story. Oh. Do you have any sisters? I've got nothing to do. Are you familiar with the Battle of Lookout Mountain? That's one of my favorite battles. That's what I learned in school. 
Oh, boy. Here we go. My brothers and I were in an artillery battery commanded by Captain <sighs> Polk. Lookout Mountain was where we had the Yankees under siege. With Steven Seagal. They had to get us off those ridges, but they couldn't. But they did. But they couldn't. Our position was impregnable. You can't say that. Ooh. The only weak line was at the foot of the ridge. Sing out, brother. Polk's battery was in a beautiful position halfway down. Righteous. The Yankees charged. Grant ordered them to take only the trench at the foot Testify. of the ridge. Testify. We had them cold and we cut them down. But they masked again and came on over their own dead. Take it home. A shell exploded inside the body of the Yankee officer right in front of us. I had to ask. Polk saw it and ran. At the height of our victory, he ran. My brothers and a few of us stuck with the guns, but the fever caught and the whole center broke. It was the end of the battle and the men... The end of the war. I'm just hitting the highlights here. My brothers were killed. And I was captured. Bummer. Live and learn. I don't quite understand. Who won? Very simple. If we hadn't lost Lookout Mountain, there would have been an armistice. Mm. The Confederacy would still be alive. And the Vikings would have finally captured a Super Bowl title. One man, one stinking coward. You're not buying this, are you? I'm sorry. Well, at least you had brothers. Except I was beginning to live it all over again. Hmm. Don't apologize. I'm sorry. I know how you feel about it. Do you have any snacks or anything? But you're wrong. You're dead wrong. You can't blame the loss of a war on one low-ranking officer. I can't. You weren't there. That doesn't make any difference. Don't you think the remembrance of this has made him pay for it over and over again? Hmm. A million men died for nothing. Only one wore a green beret. But as I said before, they all die sooner or later. When did he say that? And sooner and later, everyone runs. Especially Wilma Rudolph. Hmm. Least once. Forget it. Well, our hour's almost up here. Did you want to schedule next week? We'll leave him alone. Sure. I'm not that mad. Easiest vendetta in the West. No, she's in my room again. What am I going to do? Hold it. Who is it? Beauregard and staff. They're cops. Sorry, Rose. I'm getting a little jumpy. Which one's Beauregard? Uh, how about some crystal light? Just made a patch. Tell me you were here. I just came to tell you you were safe. You mean King Mirror's gone? Well, no, he's not gone, but I gave him until Saturday to finish his business and ride. Hmm. Oh, so that's what Erica meant. Oh, they're stuck yeah. in a subplot. Yeah, she said he'd be gone after that railroad letter arrived. What's Erica got to do with Kane? She didn't say. But it can't be for a date for Sunday school. Hmm. Huh. I have to go over here and think about this. This one is deep. Everything seems to add up to Saturday. Railroad letter, Sam Bass, my husband made him to Kane. The fishing opener. Now, Erica. Well, she's not careful. She's going to connive herself right into one of my cells. Careful, that's the main beam there. Well, I just want to be sure you're comfortable. Have you got everything you need? Yeah, I could use a few troops of cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> I but don't now, get Josh it. And I'll, have to do. I'll tell Felicity that you're here. Are you sure he can't find me here? He'd never find you in a million years. Well, apparently, they haven't invented peripheral vision. Yeah, that's you know. a problem, Rose. I'll see you on Saturday. Guests of Beverly Garland stay at the Beverly Garland Hotel. I like that sheriff. I do. Don't sleep in the subway. Oh, hi. Where did you just come from? If I wanted to kill Polk, I wouldn't be out here waiting to talk to you about it. I'm trying to paint this up, White. I'm not. I'm the same man that's wanted in three states and five territories, remember? Oh, and I'm not allowed in the sizzler. Tell me, am I, uh... Wanted around here? Don't start. Not yet. <laughs> I've only got three more days, huh? Mm. So have I. What do you mean by that? Tell Sam Bascom to take over? Man, look what's coming out of your horse. Look, let's go Oof. back to town together. Huh? Oh. Welcome, Rice Lake Key Club, music by Tangent. See you around. Later, I have some special business. What kind of business? I told you before, it's private. But I tell you what, meet me just outside of town where the road forks, and I'll tell you all about it. That a promise? Make it uh, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Hi, can I hear this? Why not today? I'm busy. Tomorrow at 8. Uh, are you picking me up? What should I wear? Oh. Not just run to your horse. Hurry up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Quick, we have a minute to lose. Yeah. Okay, give me a minute. I just woke up.
so she followed him, and he followed her, and now she's following him, following her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like the terror of Tiny Town, but bigger. Call the office and tell them to fax a pair of handcuffs to us. Careful, traffic from left does not stop. What you thinking about? Easy Snap Ranch, ready to assemble. Oh, Hurry poopy. <laughs> yeah, don't watch. I can't do it when you're watching. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm doing it. Come on, boss. What is that thing there? Well, whatever it is, it wasn't invented yet. Mm -hmm. oh, this Greasewood Canyon's real pretty. Mm. I was picturing a lot of grease and stuff. No grease at all, mm. just like anywhere else. He was hiding out at Wall Drug. Oh, pretty nice, like the cedar. Oh, done a lot of work here. Added a sunroom back here. I can't wear black. Oh, what a mess. There's garbage everywhere. Need any help, boss? Dear Steve, stop by. You weren't here. Borrowed some pants and a blouse. Hope you don't mind. Keith. All right, Herman. Back to sleep. The sheriff took me walking straight. Attica. Attica. Oh, forget What'd it. What'd he do? How's it going? Calling it leaves of grass. Well, it's not Windsor Castle, but if it'll keep a killer in, it can keep a killer out. Well, he could shoot you. Oh, I hope this isn't a conjugal Ooh, visit. <laughs> Ooh, this is better than Fanta Suites. I'm going to take the cure. What, Rogaine? Man, this week has really dragged on. Oh, I just couldn't with a drunk looking right at us. Honey. Oh, Rosie get back. I don't like it when she's away. Don't worry, Mayor Polk. I'll take care of you. Where are your cannons, Captain? Look far enough, mister. You get out of here. I'll get out of here when I'm ready. Look out, Captain. Yankees coming. What's the power? Oh. All right, I was just leaving. I like Wade. He's just not a dancer. Man, this movie is just sitting on my head and crushing it. Oh, right in my vast doughy midsection. <laughs> not exactly the riot at Alcatraz. Whoa, watch the bumper pool table. Well? Whoa, there goes the facade. Oh, no. Yes. Ah. Well, now it's a hat made out of an udder. Mm -hmm. Wilton Parmeter! What happened here? He tried to kill me. I wouldn't spit on him. Joshua mm -hmm. saved my life. We will return to non sequitur All theater. Right, clear out. We'll worry about this later. I'll see you later. I'll think about it. Uh, we're still on for eight, though, aren't we? Good one, Brad. All right, Miss Rose. Next time, Joshua, you have to use a gun. I didn't give him a chance to try anything. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm going over with the red dog. They're hiring dancers. Mm. You big galoot. Belly upstairs? It's Thursday. That's a switch. Mm. Well, I'm going to pay you girls off today so you can get an early start tomorrow. I sure hate to go. I hate to lose you. It's been so fun with you, you and everybody. I've time finding three more girls. Poor Erica. Why don't you get out of those pants and find yourself a man? Woof. I'm wearing these pants because I lost a man. A better man than ever slipped you a dollar. Ouch. There's no law against tipping. Sun down tomorrow. You're leaving in the morning. I just want to make sure everything was clear. Well. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. She got against us anyway. She thinks you violated the sanitary code. That's my job. I could kill that woman. Like Tessie, that's against the law. I still want to. Of course, 
could be a coincidental accident. With dear Rose gone, you'd have no reason to leave town. She's paying them in television warranties. Girls, you've been so good for business, I'm going to give you a little going away bonus. Wampum bucks. Hey. Well, I'll see if I can borrow a dollar from Ed. Hello there. I thought you were Dale. Well, what are you doing up there? On the lookout for gorgeous marshals. <laughs> you don't scare me after that. Come on up. Don't be silly. You want to learn my business, don't you? You did your business up I there? I didn't come at all. I almost didn't expect you. But now that you're here, if you want to find out anything, you'll have to come up in this tree. Mm -hmm. I made a really cool fort up here. Twelve year old. I've spent that much time in prison. All right, little boy, I'll be up. <clears throat> Gee, you're not as small oh. as you look. Oh, you've made me feel young again. All right. Can I talk to you? Look, you can see the Big Dipper. Hey, it's daytime. He's not talking about the stars. <sighs> Look, come down from the stars. Okay. I want to know exactly what you're after here. Very little. Just this. Oh. Mm. 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 I know all about that. We had a class in fifth grade. Oh. I mean other things. What other things? Tasty freeze. Things about Oracle. Nice place. Heard they got a meatpacking plant there. You tried to kill Polk today. I love you. Glad you didn't get to. I'd have had to kill you. Well, now he's the sensitive cold-blooded killer. But you didn't. I love you. Hmm. I thought that's what you said. Glad you're here. So how's this going to affect his contract to kill her? Tastiest sheriff in the old west. I wish that. What? You were somebody else. I have to throw you out, Mac. Motel matches. I wish I didn't have to. No one's making you do anything. I won't change my mind. Well, maybe I will. No, 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 I won't. But I can make believe a little. Sure you can. We both can. Let's make believe I have talent. Did you tell anyone I heard you out of town by Saturday? Not a soul. No, I pretend I'm taking it all back. You stay here forever and I'll... Oh, forget it. You didn't tell anyone? Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Except Erica. Erica, last of all. You know, she's the last person I didn't tell. You're lying to me. I wouldn't lie to you. She knows. She told Polk. Uh, okay, I would lie to you. Oh. We're making believe, aren't we? That isn't what you want. How does Erica fit into your plan? Now, oh, what is this? Come on, let's love. Must dream. I don't know. Is she? Don't be a fool. We're two to ten. What's that, baby? Means, uh, may I borrow your bicycle? Yeah. I can't trust you. I know you can't. I'd laugh at anyone that did. Ha ha. But I swear to you, I was telling God's truth when I said I loved you. Maybe a word came. Maybe it's a two-way thing. With the center passing lane. There's one thing I mustn't forget. Jello. And that's the worst sworn enemies, you and I. Mm. All the moonlight in heaven can't change that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, it's too late to create conflict. Mm -hmm. I can't. She is one spooky chick. My enemies don't realize that I'm very vulnerable right now. What is the crew doing in this shot? <laughs> oh, in this movie, you can just pick any object and hide behind it. <gasps> all right, one of these! Oh, it looks like they've all been to Fleet Farm. This is for taking my lip liner. She's been attacked by babes in Toyland. End of the grunge look here. Oh, yes. You're going to watch us dance if it's the last thing you do. Oh, come on. You know I don't wear necklaces. This isn't funny. Don't bother going back to town. I, I want you out of the state. 
tonight. What about our clothes? Hmm? Now! <laughs> if you ever come back to Oracle again, I'll kill all three of you. I'm just so upset right now. Move! Oh, this bites. Let's go, Gretel. I told you it wouldn't work. Those are my ideas, Cindy. My new shirt. <laughs> she didn't even cry when her husband died. Ow, ow! The British were coming! The British were coming! Little man, my man. And action. What's the matter, slow and toes? <laughs> that was a smart stunt you tried to pull last night. What are you talking about? You think you can get away with sticking your floozies on Rose? I thought I might. How did you know about that? I saw the whole thing. They tried to hang her. Where? Three miles out, just off the main road. What were you doing there? That's none of your business. That woman's my target tomorrow. And you're my hired help. Everything you and she do in this town is my business. Don't flatter yourself. I'll see you in your room tonight. It's a hallway, and don't you forget it. What it is, little wormy guy. I never liked him. Mmm, pure maple well, syrup. tomorrow's a big day. Yeah. The hell are yeah. you? Big day. Uh. Oh, right in the crotch, it did it again. Oh! The man who shot Vivian Valens. <laughs> His hands are glowing. Mm. Booze, it's what's for dinner. The pertest marshal of the Old West. Why don't you do your drinking in your room, Kane? It's a hall. Am I disturbing the peace? I do disturb the peace sometimes, you know. I was thinking of you. Oh, don't be sorry, beautiful. Tonight's the last night for you and me. In the morning, we'll both be done. Go away. There are better ways to say goodbye. Are there? Are you saying what I think you're Find saying? Find one that feels good. No? Ow! There I go again. Get out of here and leave me alone. I don't want to see you or touch you or ever remember that I knew you. anything I ever meant in my life. I mean that. Except there was something I said a while back that I meant more than that. So. Hey, the angel of death's stopping by for a drink. Oh, that's nice. Darren Zipper stuck again. Everything I need to know I learned from booze. Come out. Oh. Well, uh, right in the middle of dinner. Uh, okay, who wants to come into the hallway now? You're drunk. Come on in, Erica. You and I are on the same side. What are you talking about? We're humans. Come here. Who um. cares what I'm talking about? I should keep you drunk all the time. I am. We are. Or something. Mm -hmm. Sneak. Sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh. Mm. You got brown eyes. Yeah, uh, you, you got a neck. Mm. I come here to battle with you, and you start talking about the color of my eyes. You got uh, large pores in your nose. Oh, and a wood tip. Mm. Mm. You're a darn fool. That's what I am. I'm a loving fool. Loving fool. You taste like Annie Green Springs. And you'll never stop. Who wants to sober up? Booze has knighted me king of the lovers. You're mean when you're sober. I'm not mean. I love everybody. And hey, guys, I got a little theory to put oh, forth about really? how uh, he got around in the back of the yeah. building mm -hmm. there and came around on the horse and... But, Tom, that doesn't explain how John Ireland could go into the attorney's office and suddenly appear on his horse on the street. Look, Joel, it's really just a broadened interpretation of quantum linear superposition, okay? Super uh, huh? They simply observed the apparent relative state of a John Ireland in one place, while in actuality he coexisted in the objective vector state, you see? Uh, I have a theory. Uh, the town is a bunch of false fronts, and he ran over there real fast. All right, I'm with him. Guys, why is it so hard to accept the fact that time is not an immutable forward progression? 
progression, but a factor in a space-time model of relativistic causality and determinism. Huh? Guys? Hello? Seems like a couple of cattle, these two. Okay. <clears throat> Here, I'm gonna demonstrate, okay? Watch me closely. Ellie, oop! Hey, wait, where'd he go? I don't know. He I'm over got... here, guys. No! <laughs> I, I hate when you do that. But, Servo, well, that's fantastic. That's amazing. It's physics, Joel, plain and simple. You just exist in one observable region in phase space, and then zip, you simply realign your point of origin. You see? He does this to me at night. Scared the hell out of me. It's easy, guys. A trained chimp could do it. Come on, Joel, try it. It's fun. Okay, I'm uh -huh. going to excite myself in mm -hmm. a position of undetermined oh, origin and region. And Zuck! Nope, 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 uh, nope, 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 nope. It didn't really work. Well, I'm not doing it. Doing it makes you chubby and stupid like Tom. Whoosh, say it to my no, face, no, Tom. The gel help me. I know I can also hey. warp space and time oh, this way. What? Tom, I don't think that. But that still doesn't explain how John Ireland is able to go into the attorney's office and end up on his horse on the. St what? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> hey, my sandwich is whole again. Yep. Cool. Yeah. We'll be right back. No, 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 no. They'll be right back. We'll be right here. Honey, don't. Give me my Whoa. Of course, I mean it. I said it, didn't I? And to think I was worried about poor little Rose. Magnuson puts her into the boards. Sorry. I have to tell you this. I'm Pop Staples. There's been a change in plans. I'm going blonde. With the mayor locked up in jail, we'll have to get the letter from the express writer before he gets to town. Do you understand? You got brown eyes. I understand. Uh. Then I'll meet you at Immigrant Gap at 6.30. Yeah, uh, uh, six immigrants at the Gap. Got it. Immigrant Gap, 6.30. Booze. Write that down. Oh, look, a sale at Hurrah. Mm. It's Buddy Love. Oh. Well, better do next week's schedule. Whoa. Oh, hey. I hate that. You got what you asked for. Go lying like that again about how you love me. I, 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 I love you. I... I'm gonna kill you, but I'm gonna use Kane Merrill to do it. All I have to do is pay him, and he'll follow you to the end of the world. You won't do that. Mrs. Lady, don't, no. You're a dead man. <laughs> Get out before I kill you, my Okay, what time do you want me in tomorrow? This is like Silverado, only better. Yeah, a lot better. Oh, I, I hate my boss so bad. Huh? Oh, sail it, hurrah. Oh. Don't oh, no, know I'm the comic relief, don't shoot. My first thing in here like that. She better go after Kane Miro. Kane? What for? He's gonna shoot you. Over my dead body. How do you know that? Erica Page hired him to do it. I seen her pay him $3,000 to kill you if the railroad don't come through Oracle. The railroad? They're just waiting for you to read that later, Mayor. I'd better go after him. No, no, you can't. You can't arrest a man on Jake's hearsay. You better do it. I emphatically agree. We just have to wait until he does something. But then it may be too late. So Erica paid him. She's well. probably behind Scott's killing, too. Sure she is. And she's in love with Kane Miro, and him with her, too. Hey, can I hit you, Wormy, just once? Oh, yes. You gonna let him be? Speaking words of wisdom? Yeah, that's right. Good night, little man. Don't call me that! Erica calls me that. Ooh. I don't like it! Touched a nerve. I don't like it! Well, you are kind of little. You're making a big mistake, Rose. Stay in school. You ought to move in tonight. On what evidence? Jake's testimony? Any cheap lawyer would prove him mentally incompetent in three minutes. Hey, they haven't invented that yet. Hmm. No, we... We just have to wait it out. Huh. Why am I such a misfit? Even, Jake. <gasps> I'm a pixie! Woo. Ow. Don't say hi. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud, he's upset. Little! What's got into you, little honey?
There. See? Hey! Did it, Did it again. Oh, so they're just incorporating the fact that they're just false fronts. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! He's everywhere. Little honey, did I say something? I don't think Little Man is cut out for a rampage. Oh, wait, the Little Man! Ow! Owie! Ow! Now, what were you so mad about? <laughs> Should I taunt him? Nah, he's dead. Oh, oh, hi, just cleaning up down here. Look what I found. <laughs> Does it belong to you? Hmm. Oh, good, you killed little man. Am I in time for happy hour? I could really go for some mozzarella sticks. Uh, you're standing on his head, dear. Hmm. How did it happen? Jake tried to kill him. It was self-defense. And thus, the first L.A. cop was born. All right. You might call it that. Hmm. Huh. She's quiet today. Oh, goodness, yes. I always come here on Saturday because they have that really nice breakfast burrito. You know, they take eggs. What and... time is it? Still 7.15, like the last time you asked me. Take it easy, kiddies. You see Kane Nero this morning? Not yet. You're hard to talk to. You feel up to meeting the mail at 8? No, but thanks for asking. My duty. I failed it once. I won't again. No, you probably will, but let's go. Wait until he gets here. No sense muffing this with a miss at long range. You didn't pay for this. It's your time. Hey, job. she got her horse reupholstered. Hi, folks. Agar. Brings you way out here too early. Have you got the railroad letter? Right here, safe and sound. It's nice it's to chum. know. Hand it over. You got to sign for it. There's postage due on that letter, ma'am. Uh, which one of you gets the star log? Now get out of here. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, there's a switch. Someone's shooting a postal worker. <laughs> Mom wants to stay with us. Uh, see for yourself. Not coming. Hmm. Yeah, but Peg sends her regards. She's going to build a line through Rockdale. Shame. Is that all you can say? The darn shame. That's better. Are you ready to help me knock over the town? I've got two bullets. One for Rose and one for Captain Polk. Hey, she's littering. There's a fine for that. Nine o'clock. Never been this late before. Something's happened to him. I better ride out and meet him. No, you gotta stay here. You go on, Rose. Gideon and I can take care of ourselves. Speak for yourself, honey. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <clears throat> oh, Oklahoma, where the way? Oh, forget it. Move away, folks. Might be some shooting around here. Nobody on the street except Fred, Mayor Polk, and me. Well, that's pretty much the whole town, pretty much. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, kiss McCain, he's got... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Tell Sergeant O'Rourke it's the Hakawis. Well, look, they have a photo mat over there. Yeah, and it's saying, oh, no! <laughs> Army man. Joshua. Light show. Like he means to hold us up. You'll have to get him. You'll have to pay for it. I gave you three thousand to take care of the law in Oracle. He's part of it. Oh, well, you did. I should have listened to the fine print. Take the other side of the road. That's far enough. Yes, They've shot Joshua. They didn't shoot the sheriff, but Still they did the shoot the deputy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I haven't got a gun to protect myself with. I'm losing power, Captain. I'll find you one. Then put on another pair of pants, for God's sakes. Where are you going? After something to shoot with. You better stay here. That won't do you any good. Gideon asked for a gun, and I aim to find one for him. But there's a 10-day waiting period. I'm afraid it's too late. 
Hey, could you tell us where the Red Dog Red Saloon Dog. is? She rode out of town. What's the matter? Thought I saw an old friend. Oops, gotta pee. You haven't got time for the mayor. I waited 15 years. This is as good a time as any to settle it. He's after you. Hmm? Get out of sight. Whoa, guess he's not the hero anymore. Mm -hmm. Felicity. There's a beef roast in the... Uh, yes, where? Uh, Just get yourself away from here. Retired of Florida. You don't have to be brave. Just for some no-count killer. Got you out to school, Marm. Sorry. You're supposed to get me a gun. Oh, great. What's next? Uh-oh. Draw. I mean, wait a sec. Uh, could we maybe settle this with a game of Scrabble? <laughs> American Gothic, solo. The chores! The hell? I'm sorry, you look too stupid. I can't shoot you. <laughs> Tough, bad idea. Fork thing didn't work. Well. Oh, hi, honey. Gee, I've had a very productive day. All right, you've taken care of your personal pleasures. Rose will be here any minute. It's your show. Hi. Ride right to the alley by your hotel and wait. I'll be in the land office across the street. Who's this guy? You drive these bodies up to the street by the alley. When Rose gets here, keep her talking. If you give us away, I'll kill you. Anything you say. Get moving. Plan fast. I always have. I'll signal you when to take her. You seem really crabby today. Oh, you leave town and your work piles up. Yeah, I don't like being the sheriff anymore. Should be two L's. Yeah, one's okay. Oh, hi, everyone's dead. Got the mayor and his wife, too. Killers rode out of town. Nooner, come on. No, not now. Did you see who they were? No, I didn't get a good look. Nooner, you know. No, what do you mean? Are you sure it wasn't Kane Merrill and Erica? Oh, I'm positive it was. Come on. No time. Guess there's no Nooner then. It's all right. That's why I couldn't talk. Who am I after? Kane Merrill. Thanks. Remind me to kill you later. <laughs> Robbie! Steve! Tony! Uncle Charlie! <laughs> I mean, there's cheap tracks on that yeah, camera. I thought so. <laughs> this film makes Dirty Dingus McGee look like a John Ford film. I can't. The 12 days of the Baja 500. Are they circling each other? I think so. Wait, what? No, now he's in Ireland. What's going on? Jeez. From Vermont to New Mexico. <laughs> Power assisted anti lock hoops. Well, I'll just follow these Jeep tracks. It's a baobab tree. Now they're in the Serengeti. Man, I wish there was a pump and munch around here. Tonight, on a very special Guns of Will Sonnet. Son? Okay, damn it. <laughs> I like how the horse is so affected by the gunfire. <laughs> Actually, it's better when it's a little overcast. Got any way to talk to an old friend? Don't be a fool, Kane. I'm on here to kill you. I wouldn't do that to you. I know you've been missing on purpose, but it won't do you any good. You know, they should start dating other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or shooting them. You haven't been doing so well yourself. I think maybe they should read, you just don't understand. 
You know, back in those days when you had relationship problems, you really had relationship problems. That hurts. Rose? Yes? In case I don't see you again, there's something I'd like to ask you. What is it? Do you? What's Fred McMurray like? Is it a two-way thing? Oh, he just popped that out of his shoulder. It's a two-way thing. Oh, I guess it's kind of one way now. Oh. This is kind of like Ride the High Country, except it's not very good. You shoot like a girl. Rose? Hey, you don't have eight or nine pints of plasma on you, do you? Come on, pick up. I know you're there. Oh, right in the hat. Oh, now I'm going to have to make new friends. She'll have to start a new town now. Yeah. Uh, what did you mean by that two-way thing? God, the paperwork. Huh. Well, now she's the sheriff of herself. Yeah. Well, at least the horses are cheap now. Yeah. You found him. Well, we canceled crazy days. Yeah. Here. Look, before we say anything else, are you setting me up here? by the twisted tree near Boot Hill. Oh, I love that place. Freddie, I'm leaving Oracle. I don't want to see this place again. New marshal gets here. Give him this. We don't need a marshal. There's no people. My things are packed there in the marshal's office. Give him all my bras, too. Mr. Santa Fe for me. Be glad to, Mrs. Hood. Thanks. By the way, who are you? And don't set up the new marshal. Well, goodbye, everybody. We're all dead. Oh, that's right. Hi, I'm here to kill you. Excuse me, ma'am. My name is Sam Bass. Can hmm. you tell me where I might find the marshal's office? It's right down there. Third body on the left. It's like a nice, quiet little town you've got here. Dead quiet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except for all the bodies. All that glitters is gold. Hey, lady, you forgot to tell me where the... Oh, my God! Ah! <laughs> oh, my. Oh, boy, that was a turd, wasn't it? You know, Roger Corman can make almost anything seem dismal, but still the 1870s had to be a pretty foul decade, eh? Well, I barely remember the 1870s, but I was around for the 1970s, and you're right, it was a pretty foul decade. Cool, well, did you wear chaps and cowboy hats and stuff? Uh, no, but I knew people who did. Were the James gang still around? Oh, no, uh, Joe Waltz broke up and started Barnstorm. Oh, hey, did you ever rope cattle or bust broncos and stuff? No, but I rolled my charger a few times. Wow. Well, uh, let's read some letters, huh? Where are they? Uh, uh yeah, they're down there. Oh. Yep. Fresh, crispy letters. Mm -hmm. Hey, they <laughs> are fresh and crispy. Ew. Yeah, yeah, we uh, deep fried them. Why? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question, Joel. Oh, never mind. Let's just uh, blot off some of this grease. Mm. Uh, break off some of this admittedly uh, delicious looking crust. Ooh, Spend. caution, filling is hot. Yep, be careful. <laughs> okay. And uh, about how many weeks worth of uh, letters did you fry anyway? Well, like four mailbags full, whatever that is. Yep, we had a lot of frying medium and a yep. lot of letters. <laughs> well, honeys, don't deep fry any more letters, okay? Uh, okay. okay. Okay, this letter's from France. Ooh, this is French. Oh, la la. And uh, put knee. that on still store. It's French. And uh, French. Uh, that's from Mike, Murph, Amy, Dan, Nancy, Jeff, and Marie. And they write, dear fellows, our club is made up of members from Nice, Monaco, and Menton. And we meet regularly to scarf down Mexican food and watch the latest tent tape sent over by our supplier. 
in Southern California. Wink, wink. <clears throat> so far, our club is exclusively American, as the British folks we've tried to recruit just haven't gotten overly excited. But hey, what can you expect from the people who gave us Benny Hill? Hey, they gave us Monty Python, too. Yeah! yeah. But there is that Benny Hill thing. Yep. There it sits. Oh, what do you think, sirs? Don't. Oh. Wow, it worked! I blew Frank's head up! Well, remind me to snap on a new one, Joel. Until next time... What about our clothes?